An electric vehicle road trip can be an adventure, but if you don't want to spend a whole lot of time at charging stations, it's beneficial to know uh, which EVs can do the trip the quickest. Let's take a look. First thing I have to say before anybody comments, yes, an internal combustion engine vehicle that runs on gasoline is gonna do a faster road trip than any EV on the market. And a plug-in hybrid is gonna do it very economically. But I kind of prefer the battery electric vehicles, so I'm taking a look at them. Rachel and I have a road trip coming up uh, in a few months, later in the fall of this year, that is 1,257 miles one way from Fort Worth, Texas to Charlottesville, Virginia. Our Chevy Bolt is capable of doing that trip, but is gonna end up needing eight hours and 18 minutes sitting at chargers, according to a better route planner, for us to get there. So I started looking into uh, which EVs could do the trip faster, and I thought I'd share that information with you. Now, I'm not looking at the very expensive EVs like the Porsche Taycan or the Lucid Air, which can probably do this trip fairly easily and fairly quickly, but I'm only going to look at EVs that have a price tag of less than $50,000. To figure this out, I used a couple of my usual uh, website uh, tools and references that I go to. I went to cars.com to find out what makes and models of electric vehicle were currently available for under $50,000, and then I plugged every single one of them into a better route planner using the route from the closest DC fast charger to us in South Fort Worth, Texas to the destination in Charlottesville, Virginia. When I plugged it into a better route planner, it told me how, much, how many hours and minutes the entire trip would take and how many hours and minutes would be spent at chargers for that vehicle. Made that note and then I sorted the list by the total drive time. Drive time plus time spent charging. And there was a decent break among the top six. I'm only gonna look at the top five, which means that the vehicle that came in sixth gets an honorable mention, and that is the Kia EV9. Now currently, there, I found one, believe it or not, under $50,000 on cars.com, the only one that showed up in that price range. Um, so there was only one available, but it could do the trip in three in uh, 22 hours and 54 minutes, spending three hours and six minutes charging at 10 different charge stops. That put it 48 minutes behind the fastest car. Now let's get into the top five. In fifth place, with a range of 310 miles is the Tesla Model Y Long Range. The Tesla Model Y Long Range could do the trip in 22 hours, 51 minutes, spending three hours and 24 minutes charging at nine different charging stops. The base price of the Model Y Long Range is $49,990, and when I researched this video, there was one available for $44,990 in current Tesla inventory near me. Of the top five, the Tesla Model Y Long Range is the only one that qualifies for the federal tax credit, which would bring the net price down to $37,490. The Model Y came in 45 minutes behind the overall winner. In fourth place, coming in 32 minutes behind the overall leader is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Now the Hyundai Ioniq 5 is a CCS car, so it's not going to use the same charging stations as a Tesla at least until the Hyundais are able to start using more Tesla superchargers than just the ones with Magic Docks. Some of those CCS chargers are a little further off the freeway, there's a little bit of variances in overall route because of it, and that's where the numbers come from. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 has a range of 266 miles, and the vehicle that I based the price on here was $35,650. In third place, with 282 miles of range, was the Kia EV6. It could do the trip in 22 hours, spending two hours and 21 minutes stopped at chargers, making it the vehicle with the least amount of time spent at a charger. It could do it in nine charging stops and came in 12 minutes behind the overall leader. The EV6 that I found was $51,845 on the MSRP sticker, but the dealership was showing it at $40,785, which made it go under that $50,000 price cap. In second place, 
with a range of 316 miles coming in seven minutes behind the leader was the Hyundai Ioniq 6 all-wheel drive. It could do the trip in 21 hours and 55 minutes, spending two hours and 28 minutes at chargers over eight charging stops. The Ioniq 6 had an MSRP of 47,550 and this dealership was offering at 36,200. But the overall winner, fastest trip, was the Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Doing the trip in 21 hours and 48 minutes, over eight charge stops, spending two hours and 39 minutes at chargers. So even though it spent more time at chargers, the location of those chargers made it the trip faster. The Tesla range is 333 miles according to the Tesla website, and it also starts at 49,990. I found a best price at 44,990, but due to the lack of tax credit, even at that discount, it makes it the most expensive vehicle on this list. Now, really the best EV to do a road trip in is going to be one of those Teslas because superchargers are more prevalent. The handshake between the charger and the car is much faster. There are more charging stalls at Tesla superchargers. They're more reliable than other CCS chargers and they can more reliably deliver the speed. A fast charging Hyundai Ioniq 6 may be forced to have to use a DC fast charger that maxes out at 150 kilowatts or that maxes out at 50 kilowatts or there's only four stalls available, one's broken and the other three are in use by people like me with their Chevy Bolts. Before I wrap up the video, I wanna throw in a little bonus vehicle that doesn't exist yet so it can't really make the list but if it did exist, it would come in right behind the Kia EV9 in seventh place overall. Rachel and I have already reserved one of these but we know that we're going to have to wait a while before we actually get ours, and that is the Aptera. We reserved a launch edition Aptera with the 40 kilowatt hour battery, which gives it a 400 mile range according to the Aptera website. And the Aptera could do that same trip in 23 hours and 30 minutes, spending three hours and 27 minutes charging at 12 different charge stops. It came in 36 minutes behind the Kia EV9. So basically, to do a road trip of that distance as fast as you can in an electric vehicle, you need to get a Tesla. Or if you really don't like Teslas, you need to get a Hyundai or a Kia, either the Ionic 5, Ionic 6, or the EV6 or EV9. The Hyundai Kona and the Kia Niro don't charge as fast as those others. They're good bargains and they're good EVs, but they don't charge as fast as the Ionic 5 and 6 and the EV6 and 9. You could wait until an Aptera comes out, but if you go down to the fastest non-Korean, non-Tesla EV currently on the market, that would be the Mustang Mach-E, according to a better route planner, followed closely by the Volkswagen ID4. They're more than an hour slower than the fifth place car on the countdown I just shared with you. So. If you found this video informative or entertaining, give us a like. If you want more content like this, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.